Salt brine is a valuable tool for fighting winter weather. There are a couple of different brine makers we use across the state. Pay attention to the process of testing the brine solution. The brine maker at your location may be different than the one we show in the video. One of the first things to do when preparing to make salt brine is to do a site inspection. Look at the overall site to make sure there are no visible leaks. Check the hoses, valves, and fittings. Make sure all the valves are in the off position. Walk around the brine making tanks and fill tubes. Check for cracks in the brine making tanks. The next step is to add salt. Make sure to check in the loader bucket to make sure that it is clean of debris that will contaminate the salt. If there are big chunks of salt, you may need to crush them before dumping them into the brine maker. Carefully dump the salt into the salt mixing tank on the brine maker. Remember, there may be saturation tubes in the bottom of the tank that could be damaged. Hook up the hose between the water supply and the mixing tank. Turn on the water. The water will percolate up through the salt becoming saturated. The water will rise to the level of the drain ports and be deposited in the holding tank as brine. As the brine tank fills, you will need to take samples. The sample will be tested using a hydrometer. The type shown here is one that measures the percentage of salt. The hydrometer will float in the solution. Notice where the water line is on the hydrometer. That is where you need to take the reading. This one is reading 23% salt. The stronger the solution, the higher the hydrometer will float. There are two types of hydrometers that you may have. The hydrometer on the left measures the salt saturation of 0 to 100%. The hydrometer on the right measures the percent salt and measures 0 to 26%. This chart shows the different combinations of percent salt and percent saturation. Notice the highlighted numbers of 23 and 91 are on the same line. This is the optimum level of salt that water will hold in solution. If the hydrometer reading is too weak or too strong, it can be adjusted by either diluting the solution with water or recirculating the brine back through the salt. Once the correct salt level has been reached, pump brine from the brine holding tank on the maker to the storage tank. Make sure all valves are in the correct position. Turn on the transfer pump. Once all the brine has been pumped into the storage unit and you are finished making brine, shut off all the valves on the storage tank and to the pump. All equipment used to make brine should be rinsed off with water to avoid corrosion. This includes tanks, valves, connection hoses, and pumps. Pumps should be filled with antifreeze when not in use. The antifreeze should be circulated from one side of the pump to the other. This will help reduce corrosion in the pump. The pumps need to be run every two weeks, even in the off season, to prevent the motor from seizing. If the brine maker you have at your location is different from the one shown in this video, please see your supervisor for specific instructions.